what's up this your boy boss and welcome back to the channel man today we is back in the fish room finally man been gone for a few days but we finally back and today we got some new fish in the fish room and we also going to talk about some of the plants we picked up at aquashella and some future plans in the fish room and and we're gonna feed some fish in here man so stick around it's about to be a lit video so today I went to the pet store just to go pick up some feeders for the monsters, man. And I seen these fish and they had them for an amazing deal. And I've been wanting to keep this species for a while. I want to grow them out. I want to have these monsters in my fish room. So I had to go pick them up, man. So today we went ahead and got three, not one, not two, but we got three baby peacock bass. So these guys are probably about maybe a foot. I mean, I said a foot, about an inch and a half maybe or so. And uh, I think we got a nice fat one. And I think we got one little skinny one that we need to get fed and get them fattened up. But we got three baby peacock bass, man, that we're going to be growing out. And I'm super excited about these guys. I've been wanting to get a bass. And, you know, I can go and catch one or maybe buy a bass. But I like to grow my fish out. I like to see the process and stuff. So I'm like, I'm going to get them while they're babies. We're going to get these boys fat, man. And we're going to just raise them up in the fish room, you feel me? Because why not? You know what I'm saying? And then we also picked up some... Uh, Rosies. I want to throw some rosies in the pond today so you guys can see uh, the arowana and the red tail and hopefully the clown knife go after these guys. So I picked them up also, man. So, man, I'm super excited. We're going to go ahead and add these guys down here to this 20 gallon aquarium. Um, so, right now, you guys know we have our pike cichlid and our garami cichlid in here and uh, our true garami. And we're going to be taking those guys out of here today and we're going to be moving them to different aquariums. I'm thinking about putting the true drying garami in this tank right here with the viejas and the green terror. I think he'll do fine. I think I'm going to move the pike cichlid over here with these uh, other South American cichlids, man. So that's pretty much what we're going to do, man. So I'm going to grab the camera and get cracking. But like I was saying, we're going to go ahead and add these peacock bass to this aquarium down here. That's pretty much my quarantine tank right here. We're gonna get these guys in here and get them fed up. But first we need to get this pike sickle out of here. And then we have the true garami, which is hiding up there. So we're gonna get these guys out of here first. They've been in here for probably about almost two weeks now. They're eating good, they're looking good. I don't see any signs of anything. So we're gonna go ahead and add them to the main displays. So let's just get this neck, get these guys out of here. Let's start off with the true giant garami first. Like I said, we're gonna be adding him to this aquarium. I think he's gonna do great in this aquarium, I hope. But we will find out as things go on. Put this net out the way. See, I think he's gonna do just fine in this aquarium. Uh, he'll get a chance to grow out in here uh, with the Vieja. We got a beautiful Vieja in here. Got the green tears and the angel fish and our rainbow cichlid. So I think this is gonna be a good fit for him. He'll be able to put on a lot of size. And then this tank is really tall. So it's terrible glare, but the tank is really tall. Um, so he'll have plenty of swimming room. And I think this is gonna be the perfect situation for him. Can't wait till he can start growing, put that size on so we can move him, keep moving him up to bigger aquariums as, as he get better. So yeah, that's where he's gonna be at, looking amazing, actually. Now let's get this pike cichlid. And this is, I think one of you guys told me in the comments section, this is a uh, Venezuelan, a Venezuela uh, pike cichlid. So, he looks amazing. Looking real good. And we're gonna be adding him over here to this aquarium that has all these South American cichlids in it. And I think his aggression is going to match up perfectly with theirs. I think he'll do just fine in here. Now there's some smaller viejas, some convicts, some jewel cichlids, some fire mouths, Texas cichlids. So I think he's going to do just fine in here because he's going to get bigger than everything in this aquarium eventually anyways. And he's going to be mean and nasty. So I think this is the best place for him. Look how beautiful he is, though. Very beautiful fish. He looks really good. So these guys are some really good eaters. I had fed them before I put none of the fish into the aquarium. I had fed the aquarium because I just in case they got a little aggressive. Um, because these tank can be a little aggressive sometimes, especially these convicts. They some little meanish. But this tank is going to be decent though, I think, low key. 
I went ahead and added some plants to there. These are some of the plants I got from Aquashella. Like the dude was just giving away some jungle vow. So I got a whole bunch of jungle vow and stuff like that too. I'm gonna show you guys here in a minute some more plants that I had picked up. But let's go ahead and add these. Ugh. These guys right here are gonna be some beautiful fish. Man, I can't wait to throw these guys out. So they've been acclimated for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and add these to the aquarium. I'm gonna do just a straight plop and drop. Look good, look good. Let's get these guys in here. Come on, get out my net. This net's kinda too big for this aquarium. But yep, now we got three baby peacock bass man let me know in the comment section did we take a w i think we took a w on this one you know what i'm saying we always taking w's in the fish room but i think we took a w on these uh pickup today we got three peacock bass that we're gonna grow out and get monstrous so can't wait to start feeding these guys and putting on some weight so we can have some dope feeding videos so they're gonna be in here i'm gonna probably leave these guys in here for a while uh, because this tank is pretty big it's big enough for them to just chill in here for a while, put on some size. Probably gonna be feeding them a lot of brine shrimp, blood worms, and uh, live food as they get a little bigger. And uh, you know, they're gonna grow fast. Do a lot of water changes, they're gonna put on some weight fast. I wanna be able to move these guys to um, maybe like this aquarium over here with the, my bigger cichlids and stuff like that. So, but first we gotta put some size on these guys. But these fish gonna be getting out of here soon anyways, but that's in a whole nother topic we gotta talk about. Well, we will later, but back here is some more of this jungle valve that I had got from Aquashella. Looks pretty good. You can see it's kind of dying a little bit. So this is kind of stuff that doesn't look too well. I'll just put it over here. I'm gonna be redoing this tank later. I just haven't done it because I just got the plants just in there right now, but it looks good. Uh, let's talk about this right here. These is the plants that I had picked up from Aquashella. I had got these plants from Lucas LRB. And uh, this plant right here, I'm just letting it flow right now. These is some um, corkscrew uh, jungle vow, and it looks amazing. I haven't planted yet, but you can see how it already has so many runners, so many good plants. So I'm gonna just be probably uh, peel these pieces apart and plant them in this aquarium. Eventually, I just haven't got around to it. And then we also picked up this plant right here. It's called a rotalia. It's a floating plant. And since it's been in my aquarium already, it's already starting to grow. You can see it right here. It's growing real good, looking real good. Super happy about this tank, I mean, about this plant. I moved it to a, a couple different aquariums too, um, but we'll see how it progresses. You can see some of that um, plant back there. I forgot the name of it, but if you guys can remember, I picked it up from Lucas also. And this is one of those uh, valves right here. And then we also picked up, what else did we get? Oh, how could I forget? We picked up a bunch of different mosses. So we got some Christmas moss, we got some Taiwan moss, and I moved those to a couple different aquariums I can show you guys. Let's see, remember where I put them at? Oh yeah, I added a bunch of stuff to this aquarium right here. So we got some um, Christmas moss in here. I just got it like wedged in between the woods and the rock right now. Get some focus on that, yeah, there you go. And then we also got this plant right here. Damn, I forgot the name though. I need to do better at remembering names, but it's kind of like a little bush and it looks amazing if you ask me. This whole tank looks amazing. I love this tank. Get a focus on it so y'all can really see it. Look how beautiful this tank is. It's so natural. So we had a bunch of that up in there and then we also put some up in here. This is some more of that uh, plant right here. I want to say it is crystal wart. This could be some crystal wart. I believe that's crystal wart. And then we also added some vowel in here, but this tank is doing amazing right now too. All these black mouth scale guppies in here looking dope. Producing like crazy, so many fish in here. If I was to feed it, you'll see all these fish come out the plants because that's where they hide it, all the babies. It's hundreds of fish in there, it's crazy, to be honest. That's pretty much all the plants that we had picked up uh, from Aquacella. I feel like I have got more, but I probably did. You know me, I just be forgetting stuff. And we put a lot of it in here too, so you can see I have a bunch of plants here. I just got floating, this some more, some tiger. I believe this is the tiger valve. Yeah, this is tiger valve right here. 
that we got. So it's a little bit different from regular jungle valve and it's different from the corkscrew valve. So it's like more of a straighter, get a better focus. More of a straighter valve, tiger valve. You can see you got these kind of markings on the leaves. So we actually got that floating right now. I'm probably gonna eventually plant it. Just haven't decided which aquarium I'm gonna put it in because I've been waiting to so I set up another tank and then I'll use this stuff. But we got, here's some more of that corkscrew valve. You can see how the, the leaves are like corkscrew. Looks pretty cool if you ask me. This tank is like, I said the tank, this pond is like super overflow last night. Last night I was over here doing water changes and I overflowed it and I didn't even drain the same with this. I overflowed this too yesterday, but it happens. I was just doing so much and trying to let the water overflow. But let's get these rosies in here, man. Cause um, been still trying to get this clown knife to eat. The arrow ain't got no problem eating. You see, he ready to eat me right now. But that clown knife still having a tough time eating. So we're gonna add these rosies up in there and see what they do. And hopefully we can watch some dope shit real quick. Maybe they'll go after them. We're gonna find out. It's all lie. Everything I do is lie. Y'all seem to like these type of videos, so and I enjoy making these type of videos. Right, let's move this net back a little bit. So as soon as we release these guys. They should just be getting eight. I'm thinking. All right, got a minute. Put this net back a little bit. This net is like, let me zoom y'all out a little bit so y'all can see. All right. Now, I don't think they're going to eat it. They might, but I don't know, man. It's just, Let's see what the red tail do. <laughs> Don't look like he wanted the Erewhon ain't even went after him yet. Which is crazy to me. But I don't know, maybe over time they will all disappear. I know they're gonna disappear, but who knows, man. I'm still having a rough time trying to figure out how to get this guy to eat. Uh, I might end up taking him just to Ohio Fish Rescue. Or like I said, at one of my next plan that's coming up, he'll probably do better in that situation. Um, we just got to get to that point, which I'm going to talk about that towards the end of the video. But let's go ahead and feed some of these fish while I'm here, though. I got some brine shrimp right here. Uh, this is pretty much what I feed all my fish, so I'm going to go ahead and get these guys fed up. Everybody eats, B. Beautiful tank, man. By far one of my favorites. I probably said that in every video, but it's true. Come on, Grammy. See if he even come over and eat. Everybody eats. That's what I like to see. I like to see him being active since he's just get in and already trying to go for food. So that's a good sign that he's gonna do well and. I don't see anybody chasing them or anything. These fish are pretty peaceful together. They don't really have too many problems together. So I think this tank is going to be perfect. Look how good he look. He got a little bit of something on his fin back there, I noticed. But I'm sure that will get cleared up in no time. Beautiful fish, man. Super dope. All right, let's move over here to this tank. It's Africans. You know they're gonna get down on it. It's never enough food for them. They be acting like they ain't eight in days. Well, they don't never eat. good up in that thing boy now I'm curious to see if these bass would eat right now let's just try it very curious since I literally just put them in but I'm sure they had been already fed at the pet store but they don't seem too interested in it right now but I'm sure they will we'll get them going soon uh oh, see one over there. 
Get activated then. Let's go. It's time to blow up. Y'all got to be monsters in the fish room. Six months. I need monsters. That's good signs right there. I love to see fish eat when as soon as I'm putting them in the aquarium. I love to see that. That's always good signs to let you know that you got some good healthy fish. Good eating fish. I'm just going to throw a lot of food in here. And let them get down with it over time. I'm going to feed these guys probably like twice a day. Maybe three times a day. Just so that I can really blow them up fast. I want these guys to blow up fast. But they looking good for sure. Looking good. Let's feed these guys over here. They don't play around with no food in this tank, boy. And I just fed them before I put the pike in there. See the pike back there. Look like he's trying to come out. He's a good eater, too. Put some more food over there. Tank looking good, man. I thought I had these little plants and I played with the rocks. I put a nice little rock scape in there yesterday. Put them these little pots in here and added the little plants to it. Man, this tank is looking real, real natural and real good right now. I added another sponge filter to it also. And then you know, already know we got our DIY filter over there that we run it. And that's pretty much all the filtration that's being on this aquarium right now. So, let you know, man, simplicity over everything. Don't overdo stuff. Let's feed these guys, because I want y'all to see these males. I want y'all to see these adults, females. I mean, these adult fish that's in here. Let's see if we can get them to come out. They babies definitely will, but let's see if the adults will come out and get down. There they go. See? Look at that sword tail on that guy. Beautiful fish, man. Wild species. Real beautiful. There's a female. Now that's another male right here. Looking real good. Man, this tank is just like coming together. It's coming together so well. It's like its own ecosystem. It's just I don't have to do nothing. I don't think I don't think I've ever, ever done a water change on this tank. To be honest, I just top it off, and that's it. You see how them sore tail males is looking? Look at that male. Looks good. Looks dang good. All right, let's feed these guys over here. Look, they ready eating the dang thing. That's definitely not enough for them. So we got our rusty cichlids in here with our tiger barbs. And for all the new people to the channel, this is by far one of my best setups. Not look-wise, but just keeping these two fish together. I think it's just amazing how these two species of fish are living together, coexisting really good. I think it's awesome if you ask me. All right, let's move over here to my buddy. I really need to be feeding him some shrimp, but we're just feeding this brine shirt right now. Look at him. Bro, you gotta chill out. Look at him. This dude be tweaking. He wants some shrimp, I already know him. I'm gonna feed you some shrimp later, buddy. Right now, we just doing brine. I try to feed my fish everything from brine, pellets, flake, live. I feed my fish everything. Y'all, I give them a really good mixed diet. That way I know for sure they're getting everything they need. So I like to mix it up. I don't feed the same thing every day. Um, just mix it up. I feel like that's what you should do, but that's just what, how I do it. You know, everybody can do what they want to do, but that's just what I believe. Now let's feed the pond. 
This is my 36 gallon pond. It's looking amazing right now. Let's move some of this hornwood out the way so we can see the fish that's in here. Okay. So we got some tetras. You can see that big, beautiful angelfish in there. Serpe tetras. There's probably like five or six different type of tetras in this aquarium. Um, and it works. Serpe tetras. I forgot. I don't even know. And there's also, hold on, let me get some more food. Move my little stool over to spilling water. There's also some beautiful garamis in here, some pearl garamis. Um, they hide in the rocks a lot. And then if you can look, you probably can't see, but there are some rock dwellers or shell dwellers in here too, African cichlids. And then you probably can't see, but I have had this one right here, a little small one that rock. That's an African cichlid, a uh, hungi. So I got baby hungis in here. And there's also guppies. So I got baby guppies here. It's my um, my metalhead guppies, babies are growing out of here. So there's tons of fish in this uh, pond. And there's all this plant, tons of plants in here. We got aquarium lilies, we got crypts down here. We got hornwort flirt floating. So, you know, there's plenty of cover for the guppies and all the fish. So I really would love to, really stuff to see the gourami right here, that pearl gourami. looking amazing as always we'll come back and feed these guys in a minute Ooh, look how good that fish I just panned over and just like wow fish is beautiful Dova. looking beautiful let's throw some uh, brine shrimp up in here it's kind of too small I feed these guys kind of shrimp and pellets and stuff like that and live food really so they really ain't gonna mess with the brine too much, but I just wanna put it in here so you can get the fish to come out, hopefully. So we got some beautiful Jack Dempsey. See this beautiful red devil we got in here. That's some beautiful fish in this aquarium. Just did a water change on it, so the tank looks amazing right now. Crystal clear. See the other Jack Dempsey back here. looking dope if you ask me now right, let's go feed these guys over here these are my bashardis turn this fan off it's too much of that noise feed these bashardis over here these guys are amazing can't wait till they uh start breeding man it's gonna be a minute but hopefully soon we can start getting some breeding activity out of these guys they're an awesome awesome fish look at these guys they ready i'm gonna go get some some fish and get some tilapia we're gonna feed the oscar we're gonna feed these guys because they're not really tripping off that uh the minnow the minnows in there just doing what they want they just living now they just new friends so they ain't really into the lie. Let's go ahead and feed these Australian rainbows up here. These guys are beautiful, if you ask me. They're not like, they don't have the most color, but the males, they tails, I really like they tails and the males, if they can stay still where I can focus on them. But that's a male right here. Yeah, I, I really like this fish. They're not as pretty like the Bose Monty rainbows and all that, but they're beautiful uh, Australian native fish that I like. I think they're pretty awesome. Uh, let's see here. We throw a little bit of here and then, but like four neons in here and a bunch of shrimp. So we'll throw a little bit of that in there, in there for them. But this tank is coming along. I've been thinking about putting some CO2 on this tank, man. I think it'd go crazy with some CO2. I think the plants would just look dope in here. Let me know in the comments if you think I should do a CO2 tank. But I've been thinking about it. 
Let's put some more up in here for these guys because I know they ready for round two. Yeah, they definitely are. Same with these guys over here. I know they ready for round two also. Always ready. Let's feed these guys over here. These are my, um, and oh, I just forgot to tell you guys that I noticed that this female, I have a female over here that's holding currently. Um, so that's awesome. I think she's right there. So she's holding. So we on our second generation of these guys now. So that's always good. These are the zebra oblique ones. So that was my goal to try to get these guys breeding. So we can have a bunch of these in the fish room. So that's a sign of good things because there's tons of babies already in there. You can see one, oh, there you go. So we already got babies and then she's holding again. So that's a good thing. That's why she's not eating because she's back there holding. Let's get some more food. Feed these other Africans over here. These are my Williamson Blue Lips. These guys look damn good, if you ask me. They look really good. Supposed to be having one of the, one of the subs, supposed to be bringing me some more of these um, soon. So he got some full room ones that he want to get rid of. So hopefully we have more of these in the fish room really soon. these guys down here come on out buddies beautiful species of African cichlid looking looking good boy still no breeding activity but maybe I mean that female over there look like she could be holding but she wouldn't be eating if she was holding so I doubt it But in the future, these guys will be producing. Can't wait. Let's feed all these muck up. Look at our turtle. Hey, buddy. Looking good. Putting on some size, man. This guy's growing fast. Let's feed this muck guppy tank. There's so many guppies in here. Like, I don't really understand how many fish is in this tank. It is at least 300. Watch all these. Look at all the back here. All these babies all up over here babies just fish everywhere in this aquarium so these are my muck guppies right here and he don't eat them so we just keep producing but i'm sure as he get bigger he'll start picking them off and stuff but right now he really don't he really don't fool with them too much he's let them do their thing let to throw some pellets in there for him Feed these guppies up here. Let's get a good angle on these guys. And watch when you start putting this in here. Watch how many come out. So many babies in here. We try to feed this tank two or three times a day too. You can see these bristle noses back here. Can't wait till they start breeding again. Look at that little shrimp just chilling. He's just doing his thing. Tons of these black Moscow guppies in here. And I'll probably throw some more food in there off camera for the bristle noses and stuff. So there's about, there's tons of bristle noses in there. They just like to hide. Feed these Cabinsies. See if they come out. I gotta rescape this tank though, like ASAP. Come on out, buddy. They like the most scariest fish ever, bro. They do not want to come out. There's like five of them here. I never see them. Maybe they breeding. But there's tons of cribs in here. And we're gonna be rescaping that tank soon. This tank, the light is off right now. We might still be able to see them. Oh yeah, you still can see them. Look at my Dumbo ear guppies. And we have some Julie Corys in here also. You guys know what Julie Corys look like. 
but this tank light is off right now but you can still see these beautiful dumbo ear guppies that i got that trying to breed out when they got two males and one female and a bunch of fries so still trying to get this line to keep going but it's just a slow it's a slow one man look at these guys throw some more food in here with them These are the pea puffers. And I know these guys be eat all the snails. I need to take some snails that's in this aquarium and move them over here so they can have some food. But I got uh, some mollies growing out in here too. <laughs> One little baby molly. And then these pea puffers. So I added some of that uh, moss in here too. So hopefully that moss can take off in here. I think that'll look good. I just been wanting to put the moss in different aquariums just so I know I still have it in my fish room. Just in case something crashes or anything. But these guys been eating up all the snails that's in here, so I'm gonna add a bunch of more snails so these guys can get down on snails. But they're looking good, they're healthy. I'm really liking the pea puffer. I thought about maybe moving them up here to this tank since there ain't nothing going on. But I don't know if they're gonna pick off. Look at this little shrimp. I don't know if they're gonna pick off, uh, you know, the stuff that's in here or or it's not. So that's why I haven't moved them. This tank look good. Got a little bit of tilapia and I was over here trying to see if these monsters were gonna eat and these guys are just not hungry. So I'm not gonna be able to get them on camera feeding today. I had fed these guys super heavy last night when I got home, them and the Oscars. Um, and they're just not interested in food. I tried to uh, feed them off camera and they're just not really interested um, in food right now. They're probably still full from yesterday, which is fine, you know, but we have other fish in here that wants to eat this type of stuff. I know these guys are tear it up. They eat this tilapia. For update on the saltwater aquarium, man. When I was at Aquacella, I had picked up these uh, four new corals right here. Don't know the names, um, but they look damn good. So I picked up these four corals and I haven't added them to the rocks yet, but I will here soon. We picked up some more corals and the saltwater tank is looking good, man. Got our Nemo's in here. Just looking, it's a really good tank, man. I really like the saltwater. I'm not really into the fish, I'm more into the coral. See how good that coral look. I ain't got my lens on my camera, so really can't, but you can still see the colors in them. It look really good, man. Look damn good if you ask me. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead in this video right here, man. If you guys enjoyed today's content, man, make sure you guys hit that like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I drop these bangers, man. And we got some awesome stuff coming in here soon in the fish room, man. So stay tuned. Like I'm always growing, I'm always changing things, I'm always elevating the game, man. So Stay tuned for future projects going on the fish room and leave in the comment section and let me know um, what should we name our bass? We got three new bass. Did we take a W on them bass? I think we took a W on it, but let me know in the comment section what should we name our three bass, man. And if not, I'm gone. I'll catch you guys in my next video. I'll holler.